everyone so many people have some weight loss issues and they just can't lose weight or you think ah oh, you know I, I think I'm doing everything right why can't I lose weight so I'm gonna give you three tips on in my experience at least and many others how you can also lose weight okay so I'm gonna say tip number one is trying to use either a bicycle or walking or running or something like that as your main transport basically instead of going everywhere by taxi or car or bus or train uh, if possible I mean obviously de depending on where you live try and use a bicycle or try and walk or even if you have to use public transport maybe get off a couple of stops early and walk or try and just basically try and stop being lazy essentially In my experience I've used the bicycle now for over two years as my main vehicle and I really haven't, uh, except for traveling very, very long distance, I haven't found uh, anything faster, especially in cities. Um, it, I'm literally zigzagging through traffic whilst all the cars are parked. So it's obviously a speed thing as well, but definitely it, it's faster. So instead of just sitting there in your car, you're using your, your, your body essentially as fuel. So any excess fat that you have in your body you're literally going to be, if, if you're going easy, you're going to be using that fat as fuel. So instead of just sitting in your car with using oil, you're going to be using the fat on your body as fuel. Try and, like I said, walk, cycle, run, however you get to places. You know, if you have a 5K, if, if, if your grocery store is maybe 5K away, instead of using your car, I mean, obviously, if you're doing a, a huge haul or whatever, maybe use your car, but if you are just like picking up, I don't know, a few things, you know, whatever, then try and use the bicycle or walk or however, right? So just just stop being lazy, essentially. Uh, that's one of, one of the things that I've found in my experience. You're going to burn through calories and you're going to burn through fat, essentially. So I'm going to say tip number two is Focus your uh, diet onto a plant-based diet. So focus on eating plenty of vegetables, starches, fruit, beans, things like that. So instead of eating tiny, tiny, tiny portions of uh, meat, dairy, things like that, things that are, are very, very fatty and, and dense, um, and then like only eat a small, small piece of it and then binging out on the weekends, or getting starving and, and sort of binging out on, the, on the, all, the, all of the bad stuff, you can have literally, I'm not gonna say unlimited, but you can have huge plates of stuff like rice, potatoes, beans, vegetables, you know, and, and there's so many good recipes that you can make now. It's not like, oh, it's rabbit food or whatever. And you can eat all of this stuff and fruit as well. You know, you can have like uh, decadent like desserts made out of fruit and things like that and you can just, eat huge portions compared to what you would be able to if it was made out of um, let's say meat or dairy right so focus focus on the the plant-based things and also they're very very high in fiber which is going to leave you fuller for longer instead of eating a small amount of, of let's say meat or something with like almost little to no fiber in it um, you're going to eat something like oats for example oatmeal that is very high in fiber and you're gonna feel very full and it's gonna be slow releasing and you're gonna be full for half the day almost. And then th th you're certainly not gonna be um, like binging out or snacking or anything like that. So like I said, focus, focus on uh, almost whole it, it as possible, um, least refined plant-based foods. So that's tip number two. Okay, so tip number three. Uh, is something that a lot of people neglect and that's sleep and hydration levels. So a lot of people, whether it's because of work or busy lives or whatever, are neglecting sleep. And instead of sleeping, they're doing other things, right? So get back in, if, if you're trying to lose weight and you're exercising and you're you know, eating quite well or whatever, and you're thinking, why aren't I losing weight? This could be one of them because uh, good sleep really gets your hormones into a good place. Lack of sleep can really affect your hormone balance and hormones are one of the most important things in either losing weight or maintaining a healthy weight. Having a good good sleep pattern, whether I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, you need eight hours or whatever, but just make sure that you're getting enough sleep. So, and, and trying to go to bed early as well. 
if you're in a uh, position where you can go to bed early, try and go to bed early and then get up early as well if you need to, but just get into bed and no like messing around on your phones and stuff, just focus on uh, lying down in a dark room, relaxing, and then you know go to sleep like, preferably before 11 p.m. let's say, right? So if you're going to sleep before 11 p.m. and then maybe you're getting eight, nine, 10 hours sleep, Obviously, it's going to vary person to person. There is no written rule on how much sleep you get, but make sure that you are getting enough sleep because it's very important and it really will help you with weight loss. Just overall health as well, right? So hydration as well. This is another thing a lot of people overlook. Keeping your body hydrated, you're going to feel more energetic. Certainly, a lot of people who are dehydrated can sometimes mistake that empty feeling in the stomach uh, for hunger. So the maybe midday it's like our oh, instead of drinking or being hydrated maybe they're reaching for some snacks or some junk food or they're, they're, they're going to and having like a, i don't know like a, a fattening coffee or like latte or something because they're thinking oh i need the energy so then they're having maybe even drinking soda or something like that because they're thinking that they're, they're hungry and then they're having all these extra calories and stuff of, of, of junk calories essentially. So keep uh, hydrated, um, just sip water throughout the day, maybe, maybe even uh, wake up in the morning, drink a couple of cups of water, 500 ml, one litre, however much you need to the point where it's like, I'm not thirsty anymore. And just, yeah, just, just focus on maintaining healthy hydration levels throughout the day. So anyway, these are my three tips. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, feel free to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and I'll see you in the next video, everyone.